This WR450 does not run. Let's see if we can figure out what's wrong. Hey, what's up guys, Rado here and uh, I just bought this uh, 2015 WR450 for a really good price because it does not run and the person who had the bike uh, doesn't know much about the dirt bikes uh, so thanks Richard for the good deal and uh, yeah he just said hey I need it gone uh, I don't know what to do with it it was running and then it stopped so uh, the story of the bike is that uh, he had it in a garage uh, didn't ride it much he kickstarted every uh, month and the starter didn't really work so he just kickstarted every month and then uh, at some point it stopped running and he was like kicking it for uh, half an hour and it didn't start so today we're gonna find out what's wrong i think we'll just clean the pilot jet and we should be good well if this is 2011 or uh, older wr450 i would just clean the pilot jet uh, and uh, we should be good to go but this thing is fuel injected so today we're gonna check uh, what could be possibly wrong with this thing why is it not running and let's see if we can fire it up today if the bike doesn't run i'm checking two major things first number one do i have spark and if that's okay number two do i have fuel so these are the two major things that probably cause a problem on this bike so let's see if we have spark all right so we remove the shroud seat and the tank to give an access to our spark plug so the spark plug is pretty deep you need to get your tool and remove the plug here we go So we're gonna take out the plug and then put it back in a wire, touch the frame somewhere and kick it over, see if you can see a little spark there. And hopefully you guys can see it on the video. Okay, it's out, we might need a little needle nose. You get this long needle nose, pull the plug out. All right. Now we're gonna take this, put it back in and then we're gonna try to touch the ground and see if you can see the spark there. Okay, I think you guys can see it, right? We have a nice spark right here, so it should be good to go. So now we know that it's not a electric problem. We have a spark on the spark plug. We can put it back in and we can go and trace our fuel system now. You actually don't need a lot of force that's about it. It doesn't need to be super tight. So right now we know that we have a spark uh, on a plug, so that's good. We're gonna rule that out, and uh, I think we have a fuel problem here. And so with these fuel-injected bikes, uh, there are a couple of things that can be bad on, on the system. Number one is your injector. So the injector is, uh, is the little electronic thing that opens uh, when it has the power, and it will spray the fuel inside in the throttle body. And uh, that's how it works, right? So if your injector gets uh, clocked completely, so even though your, your pump is, uh, is making the pressure and everything is there, fuel is there, the injector will not spray or will, or will not spray sufficiently for the bike to run good. But our bike is not running at all. So either the injector doesn't work at all or is completely clocked or the pump doesn't give us enough fuel or, or a good pressure for the injector to run properly. So if it's, uh, if it's running intermittently or if it's losing uh, power or something like that, there might be like a clock filter in the tank or some other things. But if it doesn't run at all, there is a major problem in your fuel system. So we're gonna check uh, first the pump because that's easier. Injector is inside uh, in the throttle body and will take a little more work. So we're gonna leave that as our last resort. So first we're gonna check the pump. Now this has an ignition button. And when you hit the ignition button, you can hear the pump running. Okay, I'll lean a little bit closer, so. That's, that's what it does. And that's what it should do. So, I think it's, uh, it's okay, right? Like you turn it on and it makes the noise. It builds the pressure and then it stops. So, uh, I'm thinking it's fine. Now, one thing I, uh, I did, I opened the tank and I look inside. I'll put a video right, right here. pump has something called a pressure relief on the top and I can see the fuel coming out of there 
and there is a quite a lot of fuel coming out of there squirting out and i don't think that's supposed to be happening like that yes if you already have your your psi set on 45 that's what this pump should run then maybe a little bit of fuel comes out but i think this was just too much so i don't like that even though the pump is making the noise it should i don't like it there is a lot of fuel coming out of that uh, uh, pressure relief on the top of the pump so next uh, i'm gonna disconnect the fuel line and i want to see how much pressure actually this pump builds 45 psi that's, that's a little bit of pressure so if you put your finger on the pump uh you should be feeling some pressure there and there should be some gas you know wanting to come out uh, of the pump it shouldn't be easy for you to plug it so let's do that when you go on that on the button you should have fuel coming out of here and it should be close to 45 psi which is quite a bit so let's try to do that okay okay so i just turned the pump on and th there was almost no pressure there's almost like no pressure i mean it built some pressure but i don't think that's enough another thing we can do you can just see how how far it goes okay just want to visually see what is the pressure there yeah you see that's that doesn't look like 45 psi all right guys you saw it so i think the fuel pressure is our problem here it uh, it does work i mean it does make a noise and the fuel is coming out but i was just gently holding my uh, my finger on it and it was not really pushing any pressure on so if you really put the, your finger on that hole and you turn the pump on it should it should build all the way up to like 45 psi that's what this pump uh, do and uh, if it doesn't, then definitely there is something with your pump. Now, uh, the best way to check your fuel pressure would be to uh, hook up a fuel pressure gauge, turn it on, and then you see the PSI and, and you know what's wrong. Or the second best uh, and easiest way would be if you have a donor bike, we can, you can take another tank, plug in here, and then you see if the bike starts with different tank with different fuel pump okay i do have another bike here and i do have another tank but i uh, i didn't have it here a couple days ago when i was doing all this uh, uh for the first time now i'm doing it for the video so you guys see it and uh, i came up with the way how to test this pump without having different uh bike without having the fuel gauge i just wanted to see that if i give this bike fuel and the fuel pressure 45 psi would it fire up so what I did, uh, I took my uh, air compressor, I have this small uh, pancake air compressor. I set this gauge uh, on for 45 psi uh, with this dial right here. So now the, the pressure in my system would be 45 psi. Then I took it here, I plug it into my fuel line and then I build up 45 psi, close to 45 psi. It's not very pressure, uh, precise, I know, but it was good enough for me to kickstart the bike and it was running for a couple seconds so let me show you uh, what i exactly did and uh, you can do the same test uh, at home most likely you have uh, your compressor somewhere in the shop all right so before we do that i'm going to show you that this bike doesn't start right now we have our tank back everything is hooked up i'm going to turn on the pump and then we're going to kick it over and see that nothing will happen okay so pump is pressurized let's give it a shot And it, 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 keep run, it keeps running, so it keeps building pressure. Yeah, but it's not enough pressure, so nothing is happening here. So let's take the tank off. We're going to put the fuel in a fuel line, pressurize it with a compressor, and do the same. That's all it was. So the fuel pressure wasn't enough. We give it 45 PSI and the bike is running. All right guys, so now we know that it is a fuel pump issue. We give it a little more air and everything is running. To make sure before I spend uh, quite a bit of money, the pump, uh, I wanna just go with OEM pump because those Chinese replacements are, are no good. So the OEM pump is somewhere around 360 bucks, uh, which is not cheap. So before I dump that kind of money on the new fuel pump, I just wanna make sure and, and double check everything. So. Uh, we got a loaner bike, uh, the donor bike from my friend Gabe. It's a 2016 YZ250 FX, uh, which has exactly the same fuel pump, same connection, same everything. The tank looks a little bit different. I already took it out. So we're going to put a tank here on the top of a bike, hook the line and the uh, power to it, uh, start it and see how it runs. Okay. 
Pump, pump makes the same noise. actually sounds pretty angry. All right, my friends, so that's what it is. It's a fuel pressure, so the fuel pump is bad. We did our DIY test, which uh, made me 99.9% .9 sure that that's what it is, but just, uh, you know, to be 100% sure, I got this tank from my friend Gabe, and uh, everything fired up, no problem here. So we know that we need to change the fuel pump. Uh, I got really good deal on the bike, so I can spend money on a fuel pump, sell this bike and still uh, make a decent profit. But I don't know yet what I want to do. Let me know below in the comments uh, what would you do. Sell it, flip it, make some money or maybe build it and do a little project on the channel because these are really cool bike. 2015 WR450. It's a 250 bike with a 450 engine. That's what I did in those years. And uh, it runs pretty good. It's a decent bike with a great suspension and all that. So uh, now I want to show you how this pump will behave when we turn it on, how much pressure there is when I put the, the finger on it, if uh, we know that this pump is good and how it should look with this 45 PSI. Let's do it. All right, so let's see how the good fuel pump behaves. So put my finger on it and turn it on. Did you see the difference? Okay, I think we don't need to talk anymore. So this is the pressure that your fuel pump should put out when it runs. All right guys, so I know what's wrong and I know how to fix it now. Uh, get your fuel pump and this bike will be running, go, no problem. So hopefully you learned something here uh, that you can use when you are troubleshooting your fuel injected four stroke dirt bikes. Uh, uh, it's either the spark or the fuel and this is how you can check it. You know, even though the pump make the noise it's supposed to make, even though the fuel is coming out of it when you fire it up and you check it, uh, if the pressure is not sufficient, the pressure is not enough, the bike will not run at all. The fuel injector will, uh, will not have enough pressure to score that uh, fuel into your throttle body and it will not fire up at all. So now we know what it is, uh, we just need to spend a little bit of money here, fix the bike and then see what's next. All right, my friends, well, that's about it for today. Let me know below in the comments uh, how you like the video and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.